Any views, thoughts, and opinions expressed by the journalists and guests are solely that of the journalists and guests and do not reflect the views, opinion, policies, or positions of positive lifestyle management. <music>
um, and just hearing everybody's ideas um, on, on how to make us grow and become bigger in our unity okay. was uh, amazing. It, it was amazing to hear Bro Crusher speak. Um, and his understanding on what's going on. That was great. So with that, I was I was I was very very um excited. Okay, brother Blayden. Yes, sir. How I got to say, experience? I about to, I about to jump into it. Listen, man, I had the time of my life. I ain't gonna front. I cannot. If anybody that's a member of our family has not had the pleasure to attend the unification weekend, that that must be mandatory on your to-do list when it comes to this GD thing. But man, to see the brothers and sisters together, united, like it wasn't issues about where you from, who you know, who you with. It, I think, man, look, <laughs> hey, if I could find the words to describe what I felt, I'll, I'll write it down in the Bible. I'm, man, and the food was good too. I can't front some of the best cooking I had in a long time. <laughs> Shout out Look. to Columbia. A one. Nicole. Yes. Did All they right. bang? Listen, boy, just just know this. I met these two sisters at that event. Right. So what that tell you what kind of time I had? So you had a great time because you have I these two wonderful sisters here to help us move forward with it with the organization and and and, and uh and our understanding of the organization, which is great. So that means that everything went great down that end okay so now let's get into this study mm -hmm. we on page 17 in the blueprint and we're dealing with the birth the old concept so we're dealing with a birth old concept what is birth something that's coming into existence right mm -hmm. Okay, so we're bringing something into existence. So the birth of the old concept, which would be the birth of where we started in January 1969, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is where we at. And it says, we must begin to understand the new concept and the vision as opposed to the old concept. The key mm -hmm. word is there is understand. Because it's saying that we, we must begin to understand the new concept in, and the vision as opposed to the old concept. Why must we begin to understand the new concept and the vision as opposed to the old concept? And from my standpoint, to answer that question, the reason it's necessary to understand the new concept and the vision is because that understanding would be the transition or the new information given to you that allows you to be able to fulfill what's written for us in the blueprint. Okay. Okay. So now, uh, further says the new concept is a philosophy, a lifestyle management based upon organization. Philosophy. What is philosophy? The etymology of it or the definition of it? Definition of it, the etymology of it, any, any way you want to put it. Okay, because the etymology is the love of wisdom and knowledge. Okay. The Webster Dictionary definition I'm not able to give you. Okay, hold on. I'm going to have to get on. up this hold call because it's not trying to pick As it up. As y'all see, as y'all see, I keep the Webster Dictionary with me. So let me go into Webster and let me look it up. It says, love of or the search for wisdom or knowledge. That's what mm -hmm. they said in the philosophy. That's what they, the Webster say the definition of philosophy is. Love of or the search of wisdom or knowledge. So it's the love of wisdom or knowledge or you searching for the wisdom or knowledge, right? And it says, the new concept is a philosophy of lifestyle management. Hence, the title of 
our program, Positive Lifestyle Management. So now, now we see what we get. Now we now y'all see where lifestyle management comes from. It comes from the blueprint. Okay, so now we're dealing with the philosophy of it. We're dealing with the love of it. We're dealing with the study of how to positively manage our lifestyle, right? Uh -huh. Okay. And what is is this based upon organization? And what is the definition of organization according to the new concept? The definition of organization according to the new concept is a unified and <laughs> consolidated group of people with an executive structure that deals with the well-being of all its people. It is an executive structure of business and enterprise for individual growth and collective acceleration for the body as a whole. Okay. So would one of you sisters like to step in, like to speak? I would um, like to speak on that, that second sentence. The new concept is a philosophy of lifestyle management. That first part, it took me back to our six principles, which began with love, life, life. Okay, she uh, mm -hmm. sister Fro. So it begins with love, life, Lord, and knowledge. Uh huh. So when we bring in the actual definition of um philosophy, that's what I attribute the first three principles to. And when we do um lifestyle management and adding that based on the organization, then we add the other three principles because that is how we're going to organize our structure and get some type of foundation to where we're going to finish it up. The love, life, loyalty is where it began. That's what got it all started. But with our knowledge, wisdom, understanding, we will soon, we will be, soon departed. be departed. So okay. that that just, when you, when you gave me the definition of philosophy, the Webster definition, that's where my mind went to. Okay. A little bit. Uh, for me, um, it ties with the old concept, knowing where we came from to understand where we are now. If you don't understand the old, then there's no way you can understand and grow into the new. True. Because you got to know where you come from in order to know where you're at and where you're going. That's true. Uh, to say through... The new concept, true freedom, can be gained and maintained down through the ages to come. So that means, let me say that again. It said, mm -hmm. through the new concept, true freedom can be gained and maintained down through the ages to come. What is true freedom? For me, true freedom is within our, our minds. Um, your, your mind is what gives you your freedom. If your mind is open to understand, if your mind is open to love, if your mind is open to give and the willingness to be able to define what's right and what's wrong, it allows you to be able to do that. So for me, your so, mind. So you if basically you allow your free, mind to be free. Mm -hmm. So you freeing from your dome. From negativity. Yes. Okay. Sister Cole. Basically, the coming from the old concept to the new concept is just like like she said, it's a mind thing. It's a different pathway. It's a different route we're going to take because the first path took us somewhere we really don't need to go no more. And we need to focus on the bigger and better picture, which is our kids and communities. So I've explained this before in our um, EC classes that back then, in those days, we were always on defense. We literally had to protect our communities from the outsiders, the police other people in the areas that were trying to cause harm and bring harm to our kids in our actual communities so now that our mindsets have changed we still have a defense up we still got a guard but now it's time to play offense we're trying to score some points right now okay. and the only way we can do that is change the mindset of our kids ourselves 
and show our communities there's better options out there. Okay. Brother Blayton? I couldn't have found a way to word that any better than the sister said it. <laughs> <laughs> they took my answers out of my mind. Okay. It says, equally important, the vision is a highly critical study of our past in order to give proper directions to our present. So with us understanding our past, we could be able to understand exactly where we at today. Mm -hmm. You know, and so if we're not on, if we're not, if we don't understand our past, if we don't understand what the old concept was about, then we can never be able to understand what the new concept is, is, is about. So we got to be able to understand the old before we can understand the new. Mm -hmm. Okay. So right. now this is where it's going to get deeper at. This is where it's going to get ready to break down what the old concept was about. Also, the vision is a positive image of what our future must become if we are to succeed in society. In contrast to this, under the old concept, we walk on crooked paths of negativity. We struggle under the illusion of pimpish looks, clothes, and fancy cars were the cures for our anguish. Anybody would like to uh, elaborate on that? Yeah, it, it took me somewhere in that, in that reading because that was saying that our love is for material things more than it was each other. It also indicates that we were basically falling for the trap of the American dream, believing in the pie in the sky, hoping that the illusion of success was our actual success. With that, I yield the floor. But we understand, though, that that was exactly what it was, a trap, right? Mm -hmm. It was a trap. Everything from the old was a trap, but we have to also understand that from that came the new concept. From that anguish, from that Donald Goins type of lifestyles and uh, 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 what's the other? What's the other boy name that wrote the books? Uh, Iceberg Slim. Iceberg Slim. From that, birth the new concept. Okay. Mm -hmm. We were determined to satisfy our material have-nots through force and intimidation. In many ways, we lost our experiences of the old concept hmm. can we can you explain that any one of us anybody would like to elaborate on that sentence in many ways we lost in our experience of the old concept so um uh -huh. for me that to me that that goes with the pimps the prostitutes the drug dealers the the fast life, the quick money, the um maybe scheming and scamming if you would say into the understanding of owning things, um becoming entrepreneurs, becoming pillars of the community, um finding there's a different way to earn revenue, um generational wealth. Um that's when you get deep off into that type of positivity from that negative. Okay. So it says in many ways we lost in our experience of the old concepts. I mean we was losing in a lot of ways dealing with the old concept. Going to jail. We were losing. Going to jail, getting sprung out on drugs, killings and just crime and mayhem. We were we was a destruct we was a destructive force in our own communities. We was TP. a destructive force to ourselves. Okay, brother. Yeah, and another way we lost out is that we weren't able to maximize our potential. So we lost credibility in who we could have become to take on a persona who we thought we should be in that moment. Okay. So we never got a chance to exercise the greatness of our six. 
Okay. Sister Cody, like you ready to jump in there? Come on in here, sister. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> I'm just thinking like um it just goes back to that, that time period of what we had to deal with and what we were going through as a collective. And um basically just doing what you can to survive and what came with all of that was of course jewelry fancy cars you know just to prove to yourself and your community that you you have these things but in the new concept is telling you the way to do it is to become a doctor in your own community become a dentist in your own community help your people help you and that's the way we're going to do it you have your own car shops in your community and that that way you can build up your community i think all that that direction that path changing did help a lot and so that kind of gears towards that positive path and adding okay. those extra three principles to our six principles okay because it says the next sentence goes right to exactly what each one of you just said we lost mm -hmm. because the magnitude of force and energy behind the old concept was negative and painful to many. It was negative and painful. So by us being under that, that, illus that illusionary thought that we was really living our lives, in reality, our lives was being lived for us. The direction that we was going in was down destruction. It was a destructive path. It was led many of us inside the prison systems uh, 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 and the graveyard. And a lot of us became strung out on drugs up under that old regime, that old concept, that old regime. Because back then, that's when they had teas and blues, the hair run, and it was still around, but it was running rampant within our communities. It was running rampant, and it was destroying a lot of our future leaders. Even so, that is not to say that our experience under the old concept was unnecessary. We had to go through it. We had to go through it. Rather, we should view the pains of the old concept as birth pains. Now, I'm a man, so I don't know the pain that a woman go through when giving birth so that falls this portion of the topic has to fall on sister cole and sister a little bit they understand that pain but the joy that comes behind that pain after that pain comes joy mm -hmm. so can you sisters elaborate on that okay so for me those uh birth pains is uh a lifestyle change um you you go through those pains but within those pains you you are creating something beautiful you are creating life um you go through the morning sickness but that morning sickness don't pay off you go through the the the, the aches and the pains and the contractions and um in the process of having birth you have to have contractions to be able to push that baby out so during the whole time of pushing that baby out you are experiencing pain, but the love that comes within that pain as well, um, it teaches you to, well, it should teach you to be a better person. There's, that's why they say there's nothing like a mother's, a mother's love because we do endure so much pain to create such something beautiful. Um, you are now responsible for not only your life, but for somebody else's life. And that love, that come from those pains want you to be the best mother that you can be to your child. You don't want no harm to come to them. So a whole a whole lifestyle change is gonna come within the birth of having a baby. So I look okay. at it as love, negativity, because even with birth, you can you can lose your life. You can, you know, it's a dangerous process. Um just like in our old concept it was a dangerous process that we went through but the transition into a positive uh way of life is is, is it is basically the same thing as birth pain because you create love and trauma at the same time 
mean? Okay. Great, great, great. Mm. Sister Cole? Um, just piggybacking off of what sis said, those whole nine months that you're pregnant, you feel like you're going through hell. And then when the contractions come, it's like unbearable and you count down the minutes or seconds. And then after you deliver, you forget all about that. I can't tell you how long I was in labor or I, I know the pain was painful, but I can't describe to you any moment of feeling like this is not going to work because I knew something great was going to come from every pain that I had. So with that being said, the way this connected it to the old concept and the new concept is before I had children, I was partying, living my life. It was all about me. I'm being selfish. Fine. After you give birth and have kids, it's like you're not responsible for just yourself. So you need to figure out a way to incorporate your children in your life some kind of way. And that's a whole new outlook. That's a whole new path. And to learn and to get that together, that's hard, especially coming from a party and lifestyle, single and just living to now I got people that I actually have to care for. And so that just changed your whole mindset, the whole concept, your whole outlook on life in general. So. Okay, great. Blaylin. Yes, sir. This is what I wrote down from when this when sister little bit was speaking she's and i wrote down the pains of pregnancy brings the joy of a child right mm -hmm. so the the pains of that pregnancy and the the morning sickness the throwing up the the swelling of the feet the the uh because you know sisters when they 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 go through this thing when they pregnant boy they can be some woo <laughs> you make them mad in the morning it's on yeah, that gangster style oh, kind of come out a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's on. You, we know this here. It's on. So yes, sir. All of that, all that pain, which will be the old concept. When that mm -hmm. child is born, that love and that caring and that motherly love and that fatherly love for that child will be the new concept. Mm -hmm. So, can you elaborate on that further? Well, not the um, birth part. However, <laughs> the being born part, I can talk about because I, <laughs> I, w I was there for my children's birth and I watched the mother of my children through her contractions. I watched her push. And when my children came out and I had a chance to look into their eyes and see that awkward smile that's not really a smile that babies do. It made me reflect on everything that I was, everything that I thought that I was. And with all due respect to my own ego, right? I realized I wasn't who I thought I was. In that moment, I realized that I was a person that, that had compassion, that cared. Like I wasn't no hard shell of an individual. Because at first I thought I was like, I ain't care about nothing at all, period. Whatever the moment called for, I was for it 100%. But seeing my children made me realize, like, I got to sacrifice all that about me in order to see them succeed in life. I had to sacrifice everything that I thought I was and give everything that I had to become to them. And which is really the same mentality I took on to be a member of this organization. I had to sacrifice to take on the new concept. I had to give up that gangster lifestyle, that gangster mentality that hardcore shell and actually be responsible and, and care for the vision itself and not just my physical existence. Because even to bring the vision into a reality, I may have to let go of what I feel or what I think should be in order to embrace what has to become. Even though I may not be able to live to see it take root the way I want it to, I got to know the work that I'm doing now is part of that foundation for it to take root. If that makes sense what I'm expressing. Yes. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. and, yes. and with that, I yield the floor. 
the next paragraph begins with it says there is a certain and this describes everything that the sister and yourself just described there's a certain amount of pain involved in the birth of anything for instance when a woman goes into labor it is extremely painful but necessary for the birth of a new life if you examine the history of any contemporary government you will find that their initial birth was very painful to many and even considered negative by those whom they were struggling against but necessary tp uh-huh um a contemporary I, I know what a government is it's contemporary government that's throwing me off okay what's a contemporary government a contemporary government refers to the present day government systems that are in place you know said these systems are usually democratic and are based on the will of the majority of the peoples as expressed in free elections all right let's look at this here mm -hmm. the contemporary government dealing with the united states before the constitution was written you had the articles of confederation the Articles of Confederation mm -hmm. gave each state more power than the federal government. So each state has their own had their own sovereignty. So the states were more powerful than the actual federal government. So they had to do away with the Articles of Confederation, and that's when they came with the Constitution. You know, the Constitution is what governs united states now so going through that articles of confederation up into the constitution there were birth pains there was a lot of negativity going on there was people's getting killed there was people's there was, slavery was as at, 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 was at an all-time high so there was a lot of pain going through it going through the from one form of government to the next form of government so they had to change so it's just like from the old concept to the new concept the articles of confederation the constitution you see what i'm saying so okay all right that's what a I, contemporary government is yes sir okay so for my mental relation to this to the topic so the transition from the articles of confederation to the constitution that process or transition is the the birth pains yes Okay, yes. so in that struggle or that striving to get the Constitution established, they had to learn exactly how to even make the Constitution a manifest or become a reality. So it's like exactly. a trial and error process. Exactly. Even though you may exactly. not want to go through it, it's necessary for you to learn how to perfect what you believe in. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so uh, accordingly, our experience under the old concept was necessary to give birth to the new concept and to the vision of our becoming an upright and worthy group of people. So we had to go through the old concept in order to get to the new concept, right? So yeah. just like it's just like it teaches us in, in in black and white, it says, uh, as some of you know, we have had good moments as well as bad moments in our past. We're not forgetting our past. But we're putting our past where it belongs behind us. You know, our past will serve as a motivating force that would enable us to have a glorious future. Mm -hmm. You're either growing or you're dying. To stand still is to die. So mm -hmm. we had to go through the old. We have had good moments as well as bad moments doing that, doing the old, uh, uh, the old, the old concept. But we got to put the old concept where it belongs behind us. We're not forgetting it, but we got to put it where it belongs. We had to use that old concept in order to get us to where we are today. Anybody it's else? Just like parenting. Right? Yes. It's, mm -hmm. it's, just like, it's like parenting because I never forgot my life when I was, you know, before I was a parent. I remember it. I had good times in it, but I can't go back to living as if I wasn't a parent again. So I got to put it behind me. And focus on what I have to become. Right. So that makes exactly. sense. I get that. And I look at it as in my past before um, my new concept or new life rebirth, 
I was going down the road. I was negative. I there. I wasn't. I was gonna be behind the walls. Um, just mind frame. I, I, that's why I had to bring up that about the mind frame. Your mind of negativity. Like if you, you just. And I, I'm thankful for the old me, and I and I'm loving the new me. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. mm. Sister Cole. I feel like the the past it makes it's the foundation and you also got to learn from it. You got to figure out what didn't work, what did work and then you can apply that to your new journey. But you also learn like hey, I ran into a, a brick wall going down this way doing this and that. So now I know not to go back that way or not even to act like I'm going down that path anymore. So you kind of just get a new like outlook on life in general. Okay. Okay. You're right. Cause I've been down that path and, and as many people know that I've served the majority of my life inside of a penal institution. I've served mm -hmm. total throughout my life. I've served, I've served 33 years of my life in prison, you know, more in than out. So, I understand that negative path. I understand everything that comes with it. But I also understand that those were the birth pains that I had to go through in order to get me to where I'm sitting at today, sitting with, with my brother and my sisters. So I had to go through that to make it to this point right here. And do I regret it? No, I don't regret it. Do I, if I could have made some better decisions, I would have made those, I would have made better decisions if, as I look back today. But it was, a, it was necessary for me to go through it in order for me to become the man that I am today. So we all understand that. Uh, thus, as far as the pain and hardship of the old concept is concerned, the question is what organization, group of peoples, or nation has earned true freedom without causing and or experiencing pain and hardships? I can't think of any. Show me one nation, one organization, one group of people who has gone through, hasn't gone through some form of birth pains. I can't name one. So, but the thing is, being able to grow and develop from those birth pains and not to just stay in that pain forever to be able to come out of it because I have a saying where in order to get out of the fire you got to go through the fire mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. we had to go through this fire y'all and that's and, and that was uh, what we all have to do and that's what we all had to do and that's what this organization had to do and now we're looking at the fruits of that pain today now we're seeing the the, the progress and the success of that pain that we had to go through mm -hmm. with sisters like Cole, sisters like Lil Ben and Brother Blayland, you know. So that's you all are the results, the positive results of that pain. You all are the positive results of the new concept. You know, and yeah, I appreciate now that. I got now I have to put the sisters on the spot. <laughs> this has been such a great build. I know the audience is going to want to see more of you all. So be expecting because when they start calling for y'all, y'all going to have to show up because they, they definitely going to call for you. They're going to want to, they're going to want to hear you all because you all represent the true essence of what a sister of the struggle is about. You know, and I want to thank you all. And I look forward to seeing each of you next week. You know what I'm saying? When we, when we do the youth. So I'm ready, bro. Bring you ready? Yes, most Bring definitely. This, okay. This is what I love to do, G. I love okay. to be positive and give positive knowledge out. And that's and that's what we that's what we're about because that's our job. It's our responsibility to give to give and to share the truth with those who need it. So, uh, uh, on that note, we give everybody the opportunity. To get a pardon shots 
and we're going to start with the uh, sister a little bit. Take the flow a little bit. Um, I enjoyed this podcast today. It was an honor and a joy, bro. Free fee. I wish that I could have met you in person last weekend, but meeting you face to face today was such 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 an honor, and I was blessed that you would have me to be a part of your podcast. Sister Cole. I'm just honored that um, we're able to speak with other members outside of Mississippi and be able to, of course, dig in the blueprint and get a different understanding of how other people view it. And I'm just so honored and I really appreciate it. Brother Blayland. Yes, sir. <clears throat> I want to say thank you to the great state of Mississippi for the unification weekend. And I got to let this be known. If you attend one of those events and you don't return back home inspired, motivated, and energized to go to the next stage of your growth and development, you missed the whole purpose of being there. And with that, I want to say plenty of much love. And I thank the sisters for attending this class today. And I look forward to having them on the next one. On behalf of Positive Lifestyle Management, Growth and Development, and all those who believe in the true essence of the new concept, I want to thank the brother Blaylin, the sisters Cole, and a little bit for taking the time out of their busy schedule to come on to share their portion of understanding on the, on the blueprint. And uh, rest assured, they will be back next week and every week following you know what i'm saying if time if, if time allows them to to show up you know i want to thank you all man for everything that you all are doing out there in the world Just continue living a positive and productive life do not allow others to throw you off your paths and on that note i want to say thank you thank you thank you peace